They made like a mouth condom for us, but what do you think? Uh, <laughs> celebrity that annoys you the most. AKA. Okay. Yes, welcome to another episode of The Light Show with me, Donovan Goliath. And of course, welcome to level one. Can I get it right here? Now, Thursday the 24th was Heritage Day and we all took the day off to Jerusalem, hopefully, um, as per our dear leader's request for national unity. Jerusalem, uh, now, it was pretty weird uh, because, uh, you know, we've pretty much forgotten how to long weekend nowadays since there is still a curfew. But we do remember that it involves beer, so make sure you crack open an extra cold Casa Light because we have an amazing show for you coming up with our special guest, Nina Hasty, incredible actress um, on the new Mnet drama series, Inconceivable. Uh, we also have Michael M. Simang here as well, giving us the social media update. Mojak Lehuku has a very interesting new normal discussion with us. And of course, we wrap things up with some fire bars with rouge and ginger. But before we get into all of that, let's take a sip of some refreshingly light news. Port Elizabeth designer Ula Tumangwakolo made the international fashionista sit up and take notice uh, with his showing um, of his Matosa range at this year's virtual New York Fashion Week, featuring celebrities like Ricky Rick, Warren Masamula was there, and of course, Maps was there because Maps is always everywhere. Um, now, Ula Duma said that he wanted to bring a little bit of happiness uh, during this lockdown. And according to him, um, happiness is the new luxury. So we really do appreciate you. You're an absolute national treasure. Onwards and upwards, my brother. And over in Kenya, comedy sensation Elsa Majimbo just scored herself an endorsement deal with Rihanna's Fenty brand shades. Now, according to Elsa, you can't look at her in the eyes no more since she is now best friends with Rihanna. I wear Fenty. <laughs> Me and Rihanna, we are practically childhood friends. <laughs> Friends with Rihanna. Now, since Elsa will be making it rain, uh, surely we will all be under her umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, our heartiest light congratulations goes out to our sister Pearl Modia Dear um, on the birth of her first child. Hey, you guys were on Twitter complaining that, oh, you didn't even know she was pregnant. Mind your business. Now I'm about to hand over to Lichle so she can tell us what has been happening on the Twitter streets. Uh, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. But for now, we gonna be all right. Keep it light. Uh, Lichle, can I have a PS5? Welcome to level one. Welcome to the good life. On time for us to celebrate our heritage day or bra day for the brewskis. A new trend has swept our timelines of unsung heroes who help people come out and enjoy level one. These fighters come to your home and steal your gate if you find it difficult to step out of the house, completely changing the meaning of avulegile amasango to atatiwe amasango. Atatiwe amasango, we level one. Ay, 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 oh, amen. PlayStation Twitter also has a lot to celebrate. After Beyonce started the trend of the magic like button with Black is King, PlayStation has decided to do the same by changing the like button into a PS5 console. With the price range between 10 and 12,000 Rand, many are asking why pay that much for a TV game? Well, have no fear because Pume is here with a simple payment method. Can't use a debit card? Is your available balance a bit too low? Now you can pay using your Merewa. Pume has seen this as the perfect time to bring back her Twerk for Pume challenge, where she asks the other gender to shake what their mama gave them. Pume will give the best ass shake the new PS5. We have seen many brothers breaking it down. And we at The Light Show know that it's difficult to pick a winner. So we decided to have a twerking auction. Okay, so uh, we've got Mr. Shakes here, shaking his bang. But I think I want an ass clap. Do you have an ass clap? Ah, make it real good. Hey, there's some pros in this house. There's, there's some pros. Actually, I want that wap now. Give me some of that wap. That's that wap. 
Wep going one, going twice, I'm so and cute. oh no, this has bigger booty. This is bad. Oh no, he fell. I don't, I, I don't know if our fighter is okay, so I think we should just... This is Lichem Simang coming to you from the light side of life in South Africa. Africa, the world, the universe, God's mind. Super excited to introduce our next guest. She's a writer, she's an actor, she's a comedian, she's a voiceover artist. Her CV is basically a novel. And she's here, it's Nina Hesky. I buy, buy those shares, buy those shares. That's all I'm saying. Well, Forex trader as well. Uh, it's, it's not a pyramid scheme. It's, it's not a, it's not a pyramid uh, scheme. Yeah, cut, cut. Listen, man, what I want to know is, so now you're in this serious role. It's a drama, obviously. You're yeah. known for making people laugh. Yeah. How do you make that transition? How does that feel? Fam, you know what's so interesting? And there's a, you know, my, my husband in the show plays an amazing comic role. So to hold the space for him to let that shine was also very challenging. Yeah, this is, it's so weird, because you know, I can see what you're saying when you say that, you know, you've got a, like a co-star yeah. who has a bit of a comedic role yeah. and then you constantly want to just like finish the punchline or you just go, man, I can make this better. I right. know that I can. Right. How does, like, how do you deal with that pressure? Well, when you pull yourself back and you're like, okay, cool, this is serving the story. Okay. So I'm not serving myself here. I'm serving yeah. the audience. Yeah. Even when you're doing stand-up, you're serving the audience. So you've got to make sure that those decisions serve the audience, whatever those are. There's a lot of sex scenes, Donny. All right. There's a loud in sex scenes and I, I'm also like in a I'm kind of chubby you know lockdown weights also I was just like guys I don't want to be a thin person we need yeah. to have we need to normalize being not fitting into a size 10 on TV you know what, what's weird is people never see the crew right on set you've got exactly. all of these people around you it's hard enough just doing that exactly but there's other people just sitting and going yeah can you just get this Yo, shot down and please? there's this scene also because it's COVID we shot during COVID right oh really so um there's this scene where my the person I'm having the affair with is comes around the corner and because we had to protect ourselves from the kissing and stuff, they made like a mouth condom for us. But what, is, <laughs> what they did is they put the dummy in his mouth, right? Because I had my own dummy and he had his own dummy, right? So then he, can you see me? So he comes out of the shot, sorry guys. He comes out of the, I hadn't seen him with the dummy in, so I didn't know what it looked like. Yeah. And it has dummy and then like this screen over it. And he comes, <laughs> he comes around the corner, it's supposed to be this, like he changes his mind and he comes back into the room and you know that scene yeah, where yeah. like actually yeah. it's gonna happen. <laughs> And that's the whole thing. So, and also, like, as he comes here, it's just like, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous, Danny. <sighs> what I want to know, what is more intimidating for you then? Standing in front of a group of people doing comedy, mm. right? Say the worst gig of all time. You know mm. that this audience, this is not your audience. These are not your people. Or doing a nude scene in winter. Fam, give me 40,000 people at the Dome who hate me. What? <laughs> Over <laughs> shooting <laughs> in the winter Never. of this like hectic um, we can keep talking about drama the whole day guys, right guys. let's switch things up a little bit yeah. um, i want to take you down i'm going to play a game right now are you ready i'm ready let's go I'm lip gloss on mascara on au revoir yeah. let's go Okay, this next game is called the Extra Cold Interview. In front of me right now, I've got 24 rapid fire questions. Now, I could throw these at you, no problem, but I think we're gonna up the stakes just a little bit. In front of you, you have this bucket of ice. You're gonna put your hand in that ice and you're gonna answer as many questions as possible. But to raise the stakes even further, I'm gonna put my hands in as well. Oh, good. So I'm going to guilt you. I'm gonna be feeling this pain with you, so you gotta make sure that you get done with this game as quick as possible. Fam, let's get okay? out of here. But it's a full-on competition. Okay. Next to me is a leaderboard. As you can see right up top, we've got our reigning champ, Tyson Gubeni. Right. Answered 12 questions in 60 seconds. It's actually impressive and unbelievable. That's wild. Uh, if you do win this in uh. the final episode, we will send you a December survival kit. Trust me, you are absolutely gonna love this. Ooh. Are you ready, Ina Hasty? That is correct. In three, Two, one, start the timer, let's go. Who is your celebrity crush? Um, uh, uh, Come on! Oprah! Okay, what's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? Uh, brush my teeth. Okay, good. Sing the chorus to your favorite song. Uh, I'm a CEO. What uh, TV are you binging right now? Uh, Lucifer. Okay, good one. Biggest regret, you are. Uh, okay, I'm having my hair fall out. Okay, <laughs> what do people not know about you? I can play the piano. 
probably not going to be able to after this. No. Okay, the celebrity that annoys you the most, here or abroad? AKA. <laughs> okay. I mean, I love you, but you're so annoying. Okay, your best accomplishment ever. I'm a black belt. Oh, wow. I'm glad you said belt. I thought you were going to say I'm a black girl. <laughs> is there anyone that you idolize? Like, idolize, idolize. <sighs> yeah, Demi Lovato. Okay, what is in your handbag right now? Um, a laptop. The dumbest way you have ever been injured. I broke my nose in a swimming pool. <sighs> I swam into the what? side of the wall. Right <sighs> <laughs> Nina Hasty. You get eh? 11 ah, just one no. under Tyson. I am so sorry. No. You are in second place officially. We will move everybody down right now. So unhappy about this. It, it was because I couldn't think of my celebrity crush. I couldn't understand why you would even say Oprah. I, guys, I was busy thinking about my own crush in real life and I was like, he's going to be a celebrity one day. I believe in him. And then I was thinking about Lamza Ring. And then I was like, oh, where am I? I'm doing a TV show, Oprah Winfrey. Well, you played it well. Thank you so much for coming through. We really do appreciate you. I see you're still playing with the ice over there. Uh, Nothing wrong. Thinking about those winter nude scenes. <laughs> <laughs> talk to us about what's happening next. Uh, talk to us about Inconceivable. Uh, when can we catch it? Guys, okay, Inconceivable is phenomenal. You know, a lot of shows get hype. Um, this show actually hasn't had a lot of hype, but it's one of those things where like, I, I get random messages from people I haven't heard from in 10 years, like, yo, I just watched Inconceivable. The show is incredible. It's gripping. 100%. Love you. Mad love for love you. you too. Respect you so much. Thank and you, I can't fam. wait to see what else you do. Thank you. Let's work on stuff together. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do a young collabo. One time. Actually, let's bring all time. In fact, can we do all of us? All of us. This entire this game. Is, this is such a vibe. This is Done. such a vibe. Now that we're on level one, Mojak has some advice about love. In the spirit of Heritage Day, we'd like to greet you in all your languages. Molweni, Absheni, Sanbonani, Dumelang, Ola, and of course for the young bloods, what's bracken? Now, I know we've left out one greeting, but that's because it's level one, and we're here to teach you how to speak your love language. It's surviving the new normal with myself, Mojak Luhoko. For those of you who've been at home and following the lockdown regulations, your love life may have taken a knock. So we'd suggest you going out there and finding that special someone. But remember guys, go straight to the first and very important question. You must cut to the chase. No time for time wasters over here. Mm -mm. Hi ladies, I, uh, how are you? Yeah, I'm, you're making me nervous now. So like, where, where do you see yourself in level zero? Yeah, huh? Yeah, I'd, um, sorry, I was being a bit rude. What, what's your poison? My, I, I've got um, this sanitizer, this sanitizer. On the rocks, yeah. I prefer the alcohol one, you know? Just a, it's just a, the smell of the alcohol reminds me of my barber. I can see you also go to the same guy, but the square cut. Okay, Kai Zozo. Yeah, man, I mean, I don't mean to be forward, but like, you know, do you believe in kissing with a mask on or off? Like, what's your vibe? Sure, sure, I feel you, I feel you. Ah, second letter of the alphabet. I just wanna know, like, where do you see this going in terms of like, on the scale, is it alert level one, are we going to level five? What's, what's your vibe? Eh, no? I just, if you got, mum, no, you're gonna also, I guess I'll get the bill. But you know, luckily for you guys, if things go a little bit better for you, hopefully you can take you and your loved one on an exotic trip away. You know, somewhere beautiful with like rolling hills, scenic views. I'm thinking somewhere exotic like um, Lesotho. Lesotho, no, that's the one. Ha, good luck to you and your new Monami. Hope you guys are surviving this new level of level one. It's Mojack Loco. We'll see you soon. Ah, it's been amazing. So much of romance. Lanzibamos, Dr. Love, without the qualification. Yo, Rouge, take us out. Bro, what's good? Can we talk about it? 
Okay, let's do it. Look. Level one and everybody feeling like a winner. From ten to twelve, the curfew back at home like Cinderella. We eating less now that we back at where we getting thinner. A teammate missing, but we'll hold it down for not a Vina. Public holiday. Yeah, we'll be on a holiday. Heritage we celebrate as they think we Brian State. Huh. Culture passing the generation we demonstrate. Elsa back the deal. We're body hammer for where we shine. So we stuck on another level. Wow. They exaggerate. They can't get inside your house, so now they go steal your gates. What? I can't make this up. Could never prepare for such. The crime is already heavy. Gatekeepers is not enough. Yo, Nina, my nigga. Nina Hastings, not cleaning the big screens. The inconceivable with the new scenes. Uh, 2020 had been a meanie to many, but Pro became a mama, so congratulate her new meanie. We be like, Lisha. we never added to the rhyme. We decided just to add your name because we got the time. Lisha. We never added to the rhymes. We decided just to add a name because we got the time. Not, not done and not, not Mo. Mo. Because Mo, Mo is crops on the shows, show. and that is bullshit. Like what the fuck is that about, bro? Even where Cavella's broke, Cavella's. Okay, let's go now. Let's go. And that is us for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. But most importantly, we gonna be all right. Keep it light. The light show drops every Friday on YouTube. We gonna be all right. Keep it light.